This right here is Lightmatica, and I'm going to teach you how to install Lightmatica for Minecraft 1.21.11. Let's go. Okay, so the first step to get Lightmatica is to click the second link in the description, which will place you in this guide in here, which is only in here in case you get lost in this video or I go too fast. You don't have to read through it. If you want to go straight to the point, just go down to step one, and then you will see two options in here. Choose Mod Rinth. This will open a new page, and in here, we're going to select Game Version 1.21.11, and we're going to download the most recent one. Okay, that'll begin the download of Lightmatica, and I want you to place that file in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer. Now, if you ever installed Lightmatica in the past, you know that you're going to need Malilip. So go back to that second link in the description and now go down a little bit after you click Lightmatica, go down a little bit and you will see Malilip in here. And we're going to follow the same process. Click on Mod Rinth, that'll bring you over here, select 1.21.11 and then go ahead and hit download. Now, by this point, if you already have Fabric installed in your computer and you have the Fabric API, just go ahead and add these two mods into your mods folder and you're done. If you don't have Fabric, you go watch our tutorial that we just posted on it or you can keep watching this video and learn how to install fabric next now let's go ahead and download fabric next click on the third link in the description which will place you here on our fabric guide same thing you don't have to read through it but it's always here in case you get lost now let's just go ahead and install it go down to step one click on fabric that will redirect you to the fabric page where we're going to hit download universal jar and that'll begin the download of the fabric installer and i know there's a lot of downloading in this video guys just try to follow along okay now once you downloaded the fabric installer same thing place it in your desktop and then lastly we're going to download the Fabric API, which will be linked down below, of course, probably the fourth link. And then once you're in here, select 1.21.11 and then hit download. And this is the last thing you need to download, I promise. OK, now, just like we did with everything else, we're going to place the Fabric API in our desktop. Now, once we have these files in our desktop, it's time to begin the whole process. Now, the first thing we need to do is find the Fabric installer because that's the first thing we're going to install. Now, make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And it is extremely important that you have played Minecraft 1.21.11 at least once on your computer. After you've done that, just go ahead and double click on the Fabric installer. Now, when the Fabric installer opens, you're going to see 1.21.11 and you're going to hit install. And if the Fabric installer didn't open, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that. All you need is to install Java 21. I'm going to leave you this guide in the description. And Java 21, it's a requirement when modding Minecraft. Again, the link will be down below. It's just Java 21. You download it, you hit next a couple of times. And after that, you'll be able to open jar files, which is this mod in here that we're using. Now, after the Fabric installer has finished, you will see this sign in here. Go ahead and press OK. You could close the installer and you could even delete the installer from your desktop as you don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add all these mods into the game. For that, we're going to go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. And while the Minecraft launcher is opening, if you need a Minecraft server, use the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting provides you with servers all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging and your friends can't complain about lagging. They also have support for over 200 mod packs that you could install with just the click of a button. Of course, they support Lightmatica, they support Fabric, Forge Loader, anything you want to do to your server, you could do so with Apex Hosting. Now, the 25% off deal, unfortunately, is only for the first 50 people that sign up using that first link. So if you need a Minecraft server, I'll really hurry up and use that first link below. Now, back in the desktop, we see that the Minecraft launcher already open and we see that Fabric Loader is already selected in here, but we're not going to hit play just yet because we need to add the mods. For that, head over to installations and in here, make sure you have modded selected because without modded, you actually won't see Fabric in here. Now, after you have Fabric in here, click where it says open installations folder. That is going to open a folder containing a lot of files, but don't worry because we're only looking for a folder called mods. And as you can see, my mods folder is right here, but I'm actually going to delete it to teach you what to do if you don't have the mods folder. Now, all you have to do, guys, is actually press on new, press on folders, and then just name it mods, M-O-D-S, and that's it. You have the mods folder. Go ahead and open the mods folder app. And in here, we're going to add all those mods that we have in our desktop, like Marika, Malilip, as well as the Fabric API. So literally, all you have to do is drag and drop these three mods into here. And if you're going to add any other mod in here, just make sure they are compatible with Fabric and Minecraft 1.21.11. Now, go ahead and close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and it's time to test out Lightmatica. Hit play on Fabric, and then if you get a prompt, read through it, and if you agree, hit play one more time. Now, after the game opens, if you didn't have any crash, that probably means that Lightmatica is working, but we're still going to launch a world and test out Lightmatica. Now, you could use Lightmatica online, but again, you will need to own the server, and for that, you could use the first link in the description to create your own server with Apex Hosting. But do hurry up if you don't want to miss out on the deal. Now, once we're inside the world, if we want to test out Lightmatica, all we have to do is press M, and as you can see, we have everything here, the schematic manager, and everything is working properly, which means that Lightmatica is working. And there you guys have it, how to install Lightmatica 1.21.11 for Minecraft. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.